We are live. Good morning. Simplest training, guys. Have fun. <laughs> this training is brought to you by your friends over at Simplest. And uh, I'm not sure how many people we have in the room yet, but do we know any people we got? We got three viewing right now. Perfect. We got a couple in-house, a couple virtual. Um, I'm going to log into our accounts here online, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, you get that out of there for me? Perfect. Visual. Ah. Some people need to do it. Some people just need to visual. Please just. Please. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, it's been a while since we've even been at this office or seen um, seen you guys in the flesh. So it's great to be back finally. Hopefully, this is uh, nearing the end of, of this crazy time with COVID. But uh, with that said, as I can see in the office, some amazing new upgrades, new stage, new TV, um, awesome setup. We have also been making some incredible updates on our side as well. And uh, really excited to show you guys some of those updates and also just answer any specific questions you may have. If you have any questions throughout, uh, please let us know. We're here to help. We're here to help answer your questions. Uh, this is going to be uh, pretty much an open format type of, um, type of workshop, so please don't be shy. Th that goes for you guys in the room as well. Uh, again, my name is Troy Arnold, The Simplest. This is Robin Kim. And uh, awesome. So first and foremost, I wanted to let you guys know how many in the room are brand new, have never logged into their account, uh, or new to real estate? A couple? All right, so all of you should have access to your Simplest account. If you don't have access yet, let us know. Let Thomas know or Brandon know, and we'll make sure you guys have access. Um, everyone that is part of Signature has access to um, a specific set of tools um, paid for by the brokerage. Uh, this is an example of a site that's using some video in the background. All right, I'm just going to just kind of go over what it could look like once it's built out. Everyone that does have an account, you have default content in there, but it is your job to go in there and put in your new headshot, put in your new bio, put in your safe searches. All those things are custom to you. Um, question? I have a question. Sure. So with the video, like what you're showing, is that something that comes with our provided for version or is that an upgraded version? And can you, as you go through, can you kind of distinguish between sure. what comes with and what Absolutely. we have? Great, Thanks. great question. Uh, can you pull up a, or here, let me get one second. I got it here. Um, yeah, so there is a free version that is included in your, um, in your signature account. However, if you do want to upgrade, we do have some extra features like video content, um, extra blogs. So like this video that we're looking at would be an upgraded? Uh, that is part of the upgraded okay, version. That's what's um, I'm going to actually open up an account that is using the current signature. Uh, We'll let that load up. Um, just to kind of go back, I'm going to briefly just go through it, and then we can ask questions, and, and you can stop me at any, at any point. So again, you have the ability to add in video content if you'd like with one of the upgraded versions. Custom save searches, so you can provide quick clicks and access for clients to, you know, whether it's a different neighborhood, a different part of town, you want to provide a quick access to that type of, uh, those types of listings. Of course, your bio and your picture. Unfortunately, this is not me. This is my stunt double, but uh, he is a handsome guy. He helps us close more deals, so we use him on, on my demo site. Um, more information about yourself. All of this that you see here is completely editable and customizable by you guys. We do include some, um, some text and images in the beginning just to kind of get you going, but we do suggest switching them out to make it more personal. I think uh, you know, one of the biggest benefits of the platform is that you have the ability to make it personal. Right? You can make it your own. You can put in your own, uh, your own twist to your own marketing approach. So um, highly, highly recommend going in there and playing with the system. Uh, video content, again, if you guys are creating video, it looks like you know, video is a very big part of this brokerage, and I do suggest getting involved yourselves. It's, it's more engaging. It looks great, um, and it helps keep uh, bringing people back to your site. So you can incorporate video directly on your website. 
featured listings. These are custom property websites. Have any, have any of you ever created a custom single property site for a listing of yours in the past? Never? Have you seen one before? Where instead of just being on the MLS, it's uh, you know, 123mainstreet.com and it's a beautiful presentation of that home. So with your, with your account, um, you should have one uh, free custom property site that you can use. With some of our upgraded accounts, you can have up to five plus. Um, not only is it a great way to market and promote the property itself, uh, but it's also a great way to acquire listings uh, as well. So if you go to your, you know, have your listing appointment, you're sitting with the seller and, you know, you don't have to just tell them what you're going to do. You can actually show them an example. By the way, this is what I create for all of my clients. You get a custom single property website in addition to being featured on the MLS, in addition to, you know, your print, whatever your, your, your current pitch is, you can use that as an extra tool in your arsenal. I'm going to be looking directly at the camera and at the room here because we have some people here as well, so I don't want to uh, be rude, but uh, let's continue on down. Uh, what I'll do is actually show you just a quick example of uh, what a custom property site does look like. Of course, this is a very nice luxury home, but it doesn't mean you can't take that $300,000 home and make it look like a $500,000 home or a $600,000 home, right? So we're always trying to make um, the property look and market the best. Um, again, if you don't have video, totally okay. You can use static content. It's very easy to edit and update this example custom property website within your agent dashboard. I'll go over that in a little bit as well. Uh, but as you can see, right, it has video content, pictures. Uh, looks like my page is loading up a little slow here today. Uh, maps, more details of the house. So it just looks very, very nice. And again, if you are at a listing appointment, this does help move the needle in, in the right direction. Most agents are simply not going to create a custom property website for their clients. If it's a luxury listing, it's almost a prerequisite at this point in the game. Uh, but you know, the $300,000 to five, dollars $600,000 range, agents are not creating custom property websites because it's, it's too time consuming. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't pencil out. With us, it does because in 15, 20 minutes, again, assuming that you do have the content, you have the pictures already, you may have a video and you have the text, Go into your back end, create a new custom property website, and you can upload all that, uh, all that information and, and be published literally within you know, 20 to 30 minutes tops. Uh, so that's our custom single property site. Again, all the leads that are generated from not only the custom single property sites, but your website in general and the MLS uh, listings as well, they all go directly to your phone and email as an, uh, as an alert. And it also goes into your back end CRM. So everyone has access to the free CRM that's included in your account. Uh, with that, you can take notes, you can create tasks and reminders, you can track uh, what they're clicking on. So if they're you know, browsing houses on the MLS through your website, because we have MLS integration, of course, you can see what your clients are looking at, how many times they viewed it, their clicks, their favorites. You can really understand the client behavior when you are uh, looking at this information in the CRM. Highly suggest using the CRM. It's included, it's gonna help you guys tremendously, and it's, uh, it's pretty automated. Any, any questions so far about what we've seen, seen yet? All good, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, community websites, this is also uh, fantastic, not only for SEO purposes, so people can actually start finding you online when you start including these uh, particular communities, but you can also feature listings that are relevant in those neighborhoods or communities. So again, um, you know, we have a few different agents in the room, probably a lot on uh, watching at home as well. Um, everyone's different. You focus on different areas, different types of real estate, luxury, high-end investments, wholesale, etc. Um, you know, make sure that you update your agent website accordingly. Uh, that's appropriate for your business. So, if you are a specialist in the Southern Highlands and the Ridges, include it on your website. If you if you only sell in Henderson, maybe just include neighborhoods in Henderson or things that are more relevant to you as an agent. So, again, community websites. You'll have the ability to just literally click Add to Profile. We already have them pre-built for you. Uh, so it literally takes one second. You go into your back office. I'll show you what that looks like. You click add you know, Henderson to profile, and it just appears on your page. Super easy. Uh, custom search. We've made a massive uh, leap in our MLS integration and our search functionality. Um, I am slightly biased, but I don't think any other website has a sleek or more attractive uh, MLS search experience than ours, uh, and, I, and I do mean that. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like as well. God bless you. Um, you can add uh, individual MLS listings to your site. So again, what you're looking at, video gallery, this is a well-built out, and testimonials of course, but this is a well-built out agent website. This is what you should aspire to have completed for your own 
agent website, right? So this is just a great example of what it could look like and what it could be. Um, everyone has access to create this in the back end. Uh, we are called Simple List for a reason. We are very, very user friendly. I know it may seem foreign if you're just logging in for the first time or if you don't consider yourself very tech savvy, but um, it is um, designed and built to be you know, very, very easy to operate and use. Um, if there's not any questions now, I'm going to go through an example MLS search. I'm going to create um, an email and show you, what that, show you what that looks like as well. Sound good? Don't be shy today, guys. Please ask me questions. If you don't help steer the conversation, then I'm just going to keep going, and who knows where we're going to go. Any, any questions online so far? Nope. Come on, guys. I'll ask a question. Okay. So on the, I knew I liked you. the testimonials portion, is that something where the clients can go on your website and add the testimony in themselves, or is it something we as the agents upload from what they've given us? Great, first? great question. So agents, you have the ability to upload your own, uh, your own testimonials. And why we do this is... Just in case there is maybe a negative testimonial, not to say that there would be, you want to control what goes on your website, right? So um, you just go into the back end, add testimonial, copy, paste. You could even plug in a video or a picture of that client. A lot of agents, not a lot, but a few agents are starting to do video testimonials for their clients. It looks incredible on the website. Uh, video just is more engaging uh, in general, and it just, it just looks great. Uh, so if you do have the ability or the chance to get a video testimonial. It doesn't have to be five minutes long. It could be 15, 30 seconds. Hey, I had a great experience working with Agent X. It was amazing. They answered all my questions, made me feel comfortable. Good to go. Plug it on your website. Looks great. Um, we also have an integration with, um, with a platform called Elf Site. Really, really cool. E-L-F-S-I-G-H-T. Elf Site is, uh, uh, it, it's really a platform that we partner with that allows us to aggregate um, testimonials across different platforms and then plug it in automatically on your agent website. That means you don't have to enter in anything manually. Uh, we actually pull from your Facebook reviews, we pull from your Google reviews, pull from uh, Yelp. There's, I think there's 20 different platforms that you can pull from. Uh, so if that is something that you're interested in, it's called Elf Site again. They do have a free version that includes one source. I think the other version is like five bucks a month. So if that's something again that makes sense for you guys, um, we already have it integrated with our platform. You sign up, we, we connect it for you, and you're good to go. So that's called Elfsite. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick search. Um, I want to make a quick update in my back end before I jump in here. And let's refresh because that looks a little funky there. All right. Um, I'm going to make a quick update in my map because I want to do a quick MLS example. Uno momento. Robin Kim University. I have this map set up on satellite and I want to actually change that. So I'm going to edit this map. This is a brand new feature that many of you have probably not seen yet, but I'm going to show you what it does. So I'm going to go to map. I'm going to take it off satellite. I'm going to go to streets. Save the changes. All right. Go back to my agent website and refresh here. Um, let's pick a neighborhood. You guys like the Ridges, McDonald Highlands, any, any favorite spots we can? Sure. Ridges? Yeah. All right. I kind of baited you into that one a little bit. All right. Houses are so good. Houses are amazing. I love looking at the Ridges houses. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Sorry, it's loading a little slow. All right. So let's type in the Ridges. And I'm going to keep it open, no min, no max, no bed, no bath, just, just standard. Get all the listings that are connected. So as we are a, um, a vendor of GeoVAR, we have instant access to the MLS, which means that we can present and market them beautifully on your agent website. Not only does it look good when the agents are, sorry, the clients are browsing, but as they interact with your site, as they request to get you know, more information about a property as they um, hit the contact us button. All of those emails that automatically get sent to your client are pre-made, they're turnkey, they look very professional, and they're good to go. Um, I don't know if it's, internet's a little slow today, but we're, we are loading up. I'm gonna make one in the new. Come on, buddy. May have to whitelist white this IP over here. 
All right, so we're still, we're still loading here. Um, give it a second. I'm going to come back to that, let it load up. As we're waiting for that, I want to jump into the back end office. Um, every agent, you guys have complete access to the back end op the agent dashboard. That is where you can make updates and changes to your, uh, to your agent website. You can tap an MLS search. You can put your clients on drip campaigns. You can send beautiful uh, emails to your clients as well. Um, have you guys been playing around with this at all in the room? Any any questions or anything fuzzy in the beginning? Yeah, I just I like I need to start from the beginning. How from scratch. Everything. Okay, yeah. cool. So, yeah. um, let's talk about basic functionality here. Live edit mode. Live edit mode is going to be where you are able to make a lot of edits and changes in real time on your agent website. So, if I click on the agent website tile here and go to live edit mode, When you're in live edit mode, again, uh, you can update text, you can update the layouts, you can drag and drop in images, you can change out your profile picture. There's a lot of things that you can do in live edit. Is your is yours loading for you um, okay over there? Yeah, um, well, I just did the live edit so to get started. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, text, if I click on the text here in live edit mode, we're still loading. Can you text uh, Daniel? Yeah. You're in live edit mode right now? Yes. Can you click on the text that's on your screen at the top? Um, well, it should say like... The text just went away, but I got edit image, edit layout. You see that? MLS, Perfect. I think I need to white, white, white list this IP or something. But um, in live edit mode, when you click on uh, text, when you click on edit image, you can drag and drop your new content in there. It is very, very easy to update, uh, and it only takes a few seconds. Let me stop and refresh here. Nothing more frustrating than slow internet. So while you're doing that, um, can you get Google Ads to link up to this? Yeah, so you can actually, yeah, so you can integrate Google Ads. Uh, you can integrate your, um, your Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel to track Facebook ads as well, and keep that all on there. Was that, was that the question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so any page is, um, you know, you can, you can plug in ads for any page, whether it's on Google or social or Facebook, et cetera. Make sure you do plug in all of your uh, Google Analytics code, your tag manager information, your pixel ID, all of that in the back end office. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, that's looking beautiful now. Um, oh, sorry, go ahead. And do you have someone like on staff that does like, like for a package, will do everything for you? On the ad side? Mm -hmm. We do have, yes, we, we have just launched, like soft launched, um, an internal department that's going to handle some ad spend for you guys. And, and, and the managing of the website? Uh, yes, our team handles the managing the website. The ad team kind of plugs it in and, and, and helps you guys get found on, online, whichever direction you guys want to go. Um, back to live edit mode now that we're loading up here. Um, as you can see, when, once you click on the text, Las Vegas Premier Agent, I can just take out Las, keep Vegas, save the changes, and it updates in real time. Right? So very, very easy to update. Edit, uh, edit layout. You can drag and drop and switch your layouts as well. This is an example. Um, currently, um, let's see if did I spell this right. There it is. So this is going to be um, what you currently get out of the box, right? So if you haven't upgraded your account, this is what it's going to look like right now. So I wanted to make sure that you saw an example of that first while I was loading this up, right? So um, beautiful picture. It's static in the back. Video is going to be one of the upgraded versions, but it does look very, very nice. Of course, we have uh, our picture in our bio. Our picture is still being difficult here for uploading. There she is. MLS search, apply for a mortgage loan. So this is kind of more, again, of a basic setup. Uh, if you do want to take it up a notch and include custom property websites, community websites, video background, it's one of our upgraded themes. And I can, you know, we can send you some more information on that. We're actually putting together a whole special package just for Signature. Uh, that includes some of our newer themes that you haven't even seen yet, as well as what are the upgraded packages include as well. So lots of really cool stuff coming. And, and yeah, it's, we've been working hard over the past couple months making sure that the, that the platform's awesome. Uh, for, like, for example, applying for a mortgage loan, is it possible to like, co-brand that with our preferred lender? Or does it go, where does that go? Great, great question. So not only can you co-brand it, but you can connect your lender as well, and they can get a, a, a copy of the lead. 
So that's done in the back office, which I'll show you as well. Um, so let's go back to the back, uh, the back end office, only because I want to show you uh, from the integration side as that question just came in. If I click on Agent, Update Website Settings, and I go down to my integrations, you'll see at the top we have uh, Zillow, Zillow Tech Connect. So if, if you guys are doing stuff on Zillow, we can connect it to your account with us. Facebook Page ID, so you can connect your uh, your messenger widget. If you guys do have a Facebook business page, and if you don't, I suggest everyone get one. It's free and it's going to help you get seen more online regardless. You can connect your Facebook chats. So you can actually communicate with your clients directly on your agent website. So that's what Facebook ID is. Um, by the way, there are videos to help walk you through all of these steps right here. Um, and if the videos don't help, we have access to our direct chat where that you can connect with our support team as well. Um, so Google, Facebook, uh, Intercom, Google Tag Manager, Twilio for text and voice. If you guys want to add texting to the platform, you can. You just plug in your Twilio ID and you can start communicating with your clients via text, two-way, which is pretty nice. Uh, MailChimp, if you guys are uh, planning on doing large <coughs> email blasts, we have a MailChimp integration, which is nice as well. If you're using any other CRMs, you can connect them. Uh, and then we have a few other integrations, including ElfSite, which I uh, just spoke about regarding the testimonials and uh, map box, which is cool for those beautiful maps. Speaking of maps, let's go back to our uh, awesome MLS search that I was trying to pull up a few minutes ago, right? So uh, this is our new map feature. It is just a beautiful experience. We have flyovers, you have different ways to look at different homes. So this is, um, you know, you can plug in satellite view, you can plug in 3D view, 2D, and really give your clients like, like they're literally flying over neighborhoods to check out the properties. Very, very cool, unique. Um, I haven't seen any other websites doing this type of uh, functionality. So I think this is, uh, you know, it, it's very special for Simplest and sp uh, uh, especially in this market. It? Can you record it? Um, they were talking to the sales meeting that that's a great way to do a listing presentation. Can you record those videos flying in? For oh yeah, why not? Yeah. How would you do that? I would just do like a, like like a screen record on your own laptop okay. and kind of and you could even put your own voice behind. Okay. Hey, we're going to be taking. That's actually a great idea. Okay. Um, let's just say that you have ten houses you're that 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 you're going to go and take a look at with your client this weekend. You can create those ten houses, plug that on a map, and as you go scroll through them. You can talk over the flyover. Yep, we're going to go start in Henderson, and then we're going to drive over to the ridges, and it's going to take you on the map over. That was Tom's idea, by the way. Super, super. Credit. That's an awesome idea. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take credit for that one. Just kidding. Well, he had mentioned doing that for like CMEs for like a, uh, we'll a listing appointment mm -hmm. using Google Earth, but then you pulled this up, and it like her reminded me of it. Yours is prettier than the Google Earth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We have, um, you know, our 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 front end client facing. Um, it's just. It's just top of the line, and it's as you can see, we're always changing and iterating and making it better. Not only do we have great flyovers, but I'm going to jump into the back end and show you some of our collection features, which is something that I think you're going to find very useful, um, not only for showcasing listings to clients, but just marketing and presenting listings in general, whether it's social, paid ads, um, et cetera. So let's go ahead and, you know, we're, we're flying over. Maybe we want to get some more information about this home right here. So I'll click details. This is going to take us to our MLS styled page. Again, we're pulling all of this information from GLVAR. You can't edit any of this stuff. This is the same information that's shared with Zillow and other um, online websites that showcase listings. Uh, so again, everything that you would need to know, pictures, descriptions, facts, features. Uh, we have a beautiful built-in photo gallery, um, higher res imagery, bigger images as well. So um, it looks even better on a mobile device. We're, we're built mobile first. Uh, so it's great to view on your phone as well. Uh, we also have something called Mansory Mode um, or Mansory Grid. So as you'll see, the, um, we actually place vertical images and square images together in one and kind of put them in like a puzzle. So it looks very, very clean. Uh, this is called Mansory Style. Um, of course, your bio at the bottom and then that loan application. The loan application, every part of the site, it's... Uh, you can turn it on or off. So if you want to hide the loan app on your agent website but keep it on these pages, you can actually toggle that setting in the back end. Uh, everything is very, you know, we kind of joke and call it a Mr. Potato Head because you can put in new eyes, put on a new arm, put on a hat. You can just toggle this thing uh, and really make it custom for your own. Um, but again, out of the box, it is set up, ready to go for you. And once you want to turn it up, you can. Is the communities feature a part of our out of the box? Like where you highlighted the ridges and the yeah, um, I want to take a look. Can you log into Vanessa's account on your side mm -hmm. just to see um, 
if you can add it for her. Great, great question. Um, I'll give you her. Uh, I don't believe they will be able to, but I will double check. Yeah. O L M E D L. All righty, lead capture, right? So every time a lead is generated, whether it's from a custom single property website, an MLS website, your contact form, et cetera, all of those leads, again, not only do you get alerted via text and email immediately, but it's also put into your backend CRM. Your CRM needs to be like the holy grail for you guys for you know, staying on top of things, making sure nothing slips through the cracks. Not only do you see, again, all the you know, client information, but you can take notes in, his, uh, notes in chronological order. You can see what they've clicked on, what they like, what they don't like. Um, you can include a lot of information back there. So um, I'd like to do just an example of what, uh, what a lead looks like when, you, when a client does interact with your site. I'm going to do test lead. All right, so again, a couple things just happened in real time. I just got a text on my phone, I got an email alert, and then I also got that lead record in my CRM. And then I, as the client, so if I'm a client, I put in my information, I just received an email on your behalf um, that's branded, that looks amazing with your contact information at the bottom. Uh, what I'd love to do is kind of show you what that looks like. I'm gonna log into my Gmail, I hope I don't. I'm not gonna log into Brandon's, use another account. Yeah or nay, Robin? Nay. Nay. For the win. Let's not say this so Brandon doesn't creep on creep on my emails. All right, here we go. So I just put in that lead, right? I'm the client. This is what I just received as a client. So at the top is going to say, uh, of course, signature real estate, picture of the property, property details, then a built-in gallery inside the email with your information at the bottom. So this is literally happening in real time. You don't have to put these templates together. We do it for you, and the client gets it the second they put in the lead. So just to reiterate, lead comes in, email, text notification, CRM, and the client receives this beautiful email. Um, so this is the same functionality for MLS listings as well as custom single property websites. So with regards to getting back to your clients quick, this is something that they get immediately. So you kind of give them something right off the bat. And then you can, of course, reach out yourself. Hey, it looks like you just um, you know, made a lead for a home at the Ridges. Love this house. We'd love to, you know, love to schedule a tour, however you guys do your thing. I am not a real estate agent. I'm more of the tech guy. So this is your domain. We just want to make sure that you guys look incredible when you're marketing and presenting to your clients. Any, any questions on lead flow or anything like that? Cool. Let's go back to the back, uh, to the agent dashboard. So sorry. So to, uh, to confirm, um, this is the out of the box. It does not come with the extra website, so it doesn't come with the community websites or the video background. Okay. Uh, but again, I'm going to be sending an email to Tom and, and Brandon with some of our updated features and links for you guys to upgrade. If you want to upgrade, you don't have to. It's definitely something that um, is not required, but if you want to take it to the next level and get a little bit more involved with yeah. your site. I have an upgraded site. I just haven't used some of the features that you're talking about because I, oh, well, I didn't know they existed. Yes. <laughs> well, that I mean, that's why we're here. Pre-COVID, -pre we were coming here once a week. It was great. We had like 100 people in the room. There was food. It was lively. There was a, de was there was a DJ. <laughs> Uh, I had my own pump up song. It was great. Um, so we just want to make sure that, um, you know, first and foremost, you guys are educated, but even more that you guys are actually using it, right? So it does no one good if, if you have the right tools, but you're not actually exercising them. So um, hopefully today, you know, we uncover a lot of great things that you may not know that you had access to, and you're going to love them. So uh, let's go back to our back office. Let's jump into MLS search. I want to show you guys um, how you can, I don't, I want to be careful how I say this. I don't want you to, to, to replace the MLS altogether, but we can really help supplement, um, what you're using the MLS for. So if you ever want to, you know, put a client on a property alert or a drip campaign for the ridges, you know, one to 3 million, as an example, you can do that on your simplest account. And all those emails are going to look 
super beautiful and branded. And of course, all the leads that get generated from those go right back to you. So, so for example, if we had a client looking in a specific neighborhood like the Ridges, just put them on a drip campaign and they get the new listings automatically. Exactly. Let's let's create one. Let's create one uh, right now. So let's pick a uh, new search. Please pick a neighborhood uh, price point, and we'll create a search, and I'll add a I'll add a drip campaign. What's it for you? Whatever she said. She Lone right. Mountain. Does anybody work out in Lone Mountain? I will work wherever the house mm -hmm. is at the price point. Yeah, I, I've been hearing. <laughs> I we're looking at like half acre lots. So Lone Mountain seems to have a lot of those. It's a little bit on the outskirts, but um, all right. So we're going to do active residential listings. Um, and I'm going to click on location details. Is Lone is Lone Mountain? Is that a is that an actual community though? Yeah. The is it? Community. Oh, uh, or association. L O N E. No, I'm going to move to Lone Mountain. No. Uh, what about the zip code? Southern Highlands. All right. I like that. Southern Highlands. All right. So we do active listing Southern Highlands. Um, you, got, you missed an H. And the Higlands. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> He did it. Again. H I. Wow. So it's very tough for me not to have my computer here, and I'm looking up here. So my apologies. All right, third time's a charm. Southern Highlands. Make it look good. Or do we need a? No. So we'll we actually scour the MLS and 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 we. We make it easier for you guys to find things outside of just putting in a zip code. So if you do plug in the ridges, we can find stuff. If you, if you put in Red Rock Country Club, we can find it. Um, using the zip code though is definitely more accurate. Um, agents have really funny names for the same neighborhood. Some call it Red Rock CC, some call it uh, RRCC, some call it club. It, it, it's kind of interesting, but um, am I spelling this right? There we go. So we got 17 active listings. Again, this is going to ping the MLS and show you what we have in the back. Uh, these, uh, this is more thumbnail uh, view, but I'm going to actually go in and make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to click expanded view to see a larger picture. <laughs> I know, I know. So now we have a larger picture, right? So it looks great. You can actually see it. Also, if you want to click on the listing, you can click on the uh, click on view property and kind of see it bigger, yeah. and then you can exit out, right? So. So this is something that you can do uh, literally in about 15 to 30 seconds. You can plug in a quick search, and let's just say that you wanted to send all these listings to your client. Uh, you can just click the email button, start typing in the client's name. So I'll just type in Troy at, oops, sales at. It's gonna pull it up from your CRM automatically. Custom subject line, custom email. Hey Troy, check out some homes in Southern Highlands. Let me know what you think, right? So this is actually what it's gonna look like. If you click send and then preview, that little carrot next to send, you can preview it first. Signature real estate up top, picture of the first property, link to all the properties, and then a quick preview of some of those properties in that, in that list with your information at the bottom, right? So very, very clean, professional, beautiful, done for you. Click, click, send it out. Fast. Yes. And then when they look at this, do they want to like heart it or favorite it? How does that portion go into the website, or does it just go right into the CRM, or do we have to do that individually through the emails? Um, so once 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 a client of yours signs into an account, if they don't sign in, sorry, you can create their own account for them uh, with their uh, email and phone number. But once they're logged in, you can track everything: clicks, hearts, likes, everything. Um, so if they do click this from an email and they're already signed in, you can say, "Yep, he clicked on this home six times," and I'll show you what that looks like in the back end as well. Um, but keep in mind, hitting that email button, this is a one-to-one -one email. This is a one-off email. This is not a drip campaign. It's not a property alert drip. It's just, hey, here are the homes I found today, right? Somebody called me up, they want properties in a specific area. So if they want to drip to say, hey, let me know. Yeah, but now on the, on the other side, if they say, hey, anytime there's a new property in, in uh, Southern Highlands, I want to know about it, mm -hmm. you know, between X and X price or, sure. or whatever bath, you can plug that in. Um, of course, this is just all of Southern Highlands, but if, you know, again, if you wanted to say between this price, you can include all your little, uh, you know, your details, your small details. And then if I click options, create drip from results, plug in your client's name the same way, right? You can set it for daily or weekly. So you can say every day, send new updates for Southern Highlands or every week, send updates for Southern Highlands. Plug in your custom subject line, you know, your new uh, new Southern Highlands listings, 
Hey Troy, here are some new listings at Southern Highlands. Do you have any questions, let me know. Whatever you guys want to put there as well. Hit add to drip, and then your drip campaign is live. So that's how you add a property alert trip. So again, I just want to make sure you guys understand the difference between the one-off email and then the and then the drip. Um, now let's go to my favorite part of this this area in the back end. It's called our collections and portfolios. Um, it's the easiest way to market and advertise, whether they're your own listings, whether they're your associates' listings, uh, or maybe you just pick a new neighborhood in town, like Southern Highlands in this example. So every day or once a week, you can you know you can make a post and say. You know, here is the neighborhood of the week. We're going to be looking at Southern Highlands as this example, right? I'm going to go to my options button right here, and I'm going to click on create collection from results, right? Create collection from results. I can add to an existing collection or create a new one. I'm going to create a new one and just call it Southern Highlands. <coughs> add to collection. Once it's successfully added, it should, you should get a notification in the top right corner. Man, this is this technology is testing me today. Okay, that's fine. All right, so collection added, right? So if I go to the top of my website, click on properties on my agent dashboard, and click on collections, you'll see Southern Highlands at the top, right? So this is the one that I just made. So literally in 30 seconds or less, you plug in Southern Highlands, active listings, create collection. If I take it, uh, click the, the visit button, um, this is what our system puts together for you automatically. So again, you are not building templates, you're not putting these together, you're simply telling the system uh, what areas of town, what, what price point, et cetera, and then we put together this beautiful presentation for you. Of course, it's taking a little bit to load. Can you press the visit button? Yeah, so visit, actually, and I'm gonna showcase a few of these, but if you click on that visit button, you'll see that there's several options. There's view as a website, uh, portfolio style one, portfolio style two, magazine, share to Facebook. There's a lot of options here. That's what I was going to ask you. So it'll share through Facebook. Yeah, from you can there. share directly to Facebook. Um, so I'm going to actually open these up in different tabs just because I know it's going to take a little bit for them to load. But there's four different ways to look at the same listings um, in a very beautiful way, right? So if I can just start swiping through and start seeing these homes in Southern Highlands. That's, we have to talk to this agent and pick a better picture for their first <laughs> image, right? This is a no-no. This is what you should never do. I hope it's not a signature agent. No, it's not. All right, good. Well, well there is one way to find out. I, I don't want to put anyone on the spot, but I'm going to take a look later. If it is a signature agent, I'm going to reach out and let you guys know. Um, so that is one, one way to look at it. The other way is called, um, this, is a, this is a website view. So this is going to be more of like a grid of homes, right? So you can look at it as a kind of a grid format. Um, again, all of these pages that are created, slash, you know, collection slash 894, all of these pages are pointed to your agent website. So as you start inter um, interacting with your own website more, you're going to have an, uh, an ever-growing collection of content that's all pointed back to you. So, you know, MLS websites, collections, uh, property websites, community websites, blog posts, all of these things, it's not just to look pretty and fill up your site, it actually serves a purpose outside of the visual purpose as well. So with the collections, if, for example, you just made the Southern Highlands collection, my guess is that that doesn't like automatically update. Like I would have to go back in and make a new Southern Highlands collection say great. next week or tomorrow or whatever. Great, great. You're asking all the, all the amazing questions today. Oh, Thank good. you. Um, this is the other version of the same collection, right? So this is more of like a, like a, a horizontal swipe as opposed to a vertical, right? And when you click in, when you actually click into the listing, Let's not go there. Let's click. This is beautiful. Let's like let's let's click into this one, right? So it's going to take us through a whole presentation of the property, like you guys put this together. So you can even on the phone with the client. Hey, I had my marketing team put this together for you really quick. Take a look, right? They don't need to know that it took six seconds to create the collection. Um, Forty-seven Quintessa. So property address, more information, pictures, price, square footage. As you hover over the images, it tells you the price, the square footage tells you the beds and bath, tells you the community, Southern Highlands, right? So all of these things are put together for you with a click of a button. So when I say, you know, pick a neighborhood or area of town of the week, there's no excuses why we can't at least do one collection. It takes 10 seconds to do. Put on your Facebook page. Um, again, even if these are not your listings, hey, featured, uh, featured neighborhood of the week, Southern Highlands, take a look. And then our, Copy, our information at the bottom, obviously the other agents isn't going to be on there. 
all, it's always your information. We're, we're in the business of marketing, advertising our clients, which is you as the agent. However, for compliance purposes, so let's just take a look at this listing, right? I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. If I click view, view full property details, it's gonna take us back to our MLS style version uh, of the site, right? If I click contact agent, request a tour, all that stuff, if I scroll down, you'll see a picture of me or a picture of yourself. It's always gonna be you guys, but if I scroll all the way down, you'll see this is our good friend Ivan Sharon at Berkshire Hathaway. Where, where does that pulling from? All of this is pulling from the MLS. So is that under public remarks? I mean, like how does, you're not gonna be able to get the agent to agent remarks on there because it's obviously privy to just realtors. Uh, um, I don't think I quite understand it's the question. I don't understand how, what, how does that, okay, so how are you getting the information from who's listing it is? Because it's only privy to an actual agent. So like if you go to Zillow, for example, it's all it's 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 all the same information for Zillow for compliance purposes for us as a as a third party vendor, we have to always show the listing agent and the listing brokerage, uh, so we get the check mark for that. But again, at the end of the day, we are promoting you as the agent. So all the contact forms, all the pictures, everything is going to you um, for that. Um, so again, that is our collections feature. Is the collections part of the of the one we get, or is that upgrade? Can you take a peek for me? Robin, she, she's the she's, she's the gatekeeper. The she's the power. gatekeeper. Whatever she says goes. Yeah. Is the collections feature uh, part of our what we get provided by our brokerage, or is that an upgraded feature? Um, I believe you have that feature, but let me just double check for you. Right yeah, now. and again, um, we're going to recap. Um, you know what everyone has as sure. a as a basic package, and then we're going to be including some really cool upgrades and and, and just extras for you guys because we want to help Turbo Boost. Your business. Do you have bit. multiple levels of upgrades? Because I have an upgrade version. But we do. Somebody else mentioned a different, and it sounded like she, maybe she. Had yeah. So we we have a lot of really cool stuff. Okay. Again, like this beautiful stage and platform that was built. We have different templates, different layouts, whole different views. A uh, lot of a lot of really cool okay. updates to share. So I'll give you guys, you know, a quick sneak peek of that towards the end, and then again, I'm going to wrap up with an email for the whole brokerage where you guys will have access to click around and kind of see what we have to offer. Um, let's go and take a look at the magazine. Again, this is part of our collections feature. So, you know, four different ways to look at the same 10 or 20 or 30 properties, right? This is called our magazine. Again, we'll let that load up and I'll come back to that in a moment. Um, but all your collections will be listed here. You can, um, of course, see how many properties, how many views your collection is getting. So if you want to start putting ad spend behind it, you know, hot homes in the ridges and you want to put, you know, boost it with some ad spend, you can actually start to see what's going on. Of course, with your Facebook pixel, you can track more uh, metrics there as well. Um, if you wanted to send it, you can click send, send this collection directly to a client as well. Uh, we, we make it very easy to communicate and kind of uh, share, share content with your clients. Is this, a, for example, the Southern Highlands collection, is that something that you could put on your like mass email to to your whole database if you wanted to? Of course. Okay. You actually asked, um, do I need an update? And, and I got sidetracked. Sorry. It's my, it's my fault. <laughs> um, your question was, do I need to update every time I do a collection? Mm -hmm. So there is a primary difference be between a save search and a collection. A save search is going to update in real time always. Okay. It's going to take properties out, put properties in, you don't have to do a thing. Collections are more designed to be static, right? So as an example, if I wanted to do a collection of hot homes, but I wanted to include a few homes in the ridges, a few homes in uh, Southern Highlands, a few homes in Ascaya as an example. It's tough to do a safe search that has all those things together. So we have, with our collections, they're more static in nature. And our safe searches are, again, fully automated, updated on their own. You don't need and to do the safe it. search would be like the client wants a specific neighborhood, put them on a drip, and that's how that would work. Absolutely. Okay. Or, or you can also put a safe search. Uh, sorry. I'm going to have to get a massage after this one. You can also put a save search uh, directly on your agent website and populate them here, right? So this is an example of a save search that lives on your agent website, right? This is going to update always in real time. Collections are more for marketing, are more for direct to consumer. You know, hey Troy, take a look at some of the you know homes in Southern Highlands. If I get that email or text, I'm like, whoa, this is this is awesome. Um, you know, way better than what they're currently getting sent from the MLS. If you guys sure. are using the MLS. Um, it's very outdated. It's not super mobile friendly. The text is, it's just not a great experience. So again, whether it's luxury uh, or not, you should always strive to present and market yourselves the best possible way. And with our platform, everything's done for you. Any other, any other questions? 
And all signature agents do have access to the collections. Awesome. Sweet. I, we are I also whitelisted. Hey, hey, <laughs> Robin, she just goes like this, and <laughs> if it sums up, we're all good. Um, any any questions online? Is every is is anyone is everyone sleeping online? Give me. Can I get one question from anyone tuning in, please, for my own sanity? Anybody, just don't be shy. Um, let's jump back to the back end. All right, let's talk about some of the extra features that we have. We didn't even t uh, talk about MLS. Let's jump in. Sorry, CRM. Let's jump into CRM. This coffee is hitting straight to the bloodstream now. So, all right. CRM, manage leads. Again, every single time a lead is generated, automatically goes to your phone as a text and email and goes right to your CRM as well. Every single lead that's gonna go there. Now, the whole purpose of a CRM, um, I know a lot of agents that use CRM simply as like a smart database, like an Excel, right? It's much more than just an Excel, right? It's much more than just a spreadsheet of names. You wanna make sure that you include groups first time home buyer. You can create all your different groups. So if you have, this is, this is a demo account, so I have a lot of groups. That's awesome. Right, so you can have first time home buyers, VIP clients, agents. Maybe you have a 20 agents that, that you work with in town and you guys share business or share deals or whatever with. You can create all your different groups so you can start sending relevant content to those groups of people. Again, agents, investors, first time home buyers, et cetera. Creating a group is very easy, you can just click create new group. It's going to ask you to create um, a new group right here. So group name. So if I wanted to do signature agents, I can't, can't type today, guys. Signature agents, create the group. Fantastic. So next time I go and refresh my page for this first lead, I'm going to put uh, this gentleman, Adam, into the signature group. Switch them from ho first time home buyer. Signature agents, add to group, and then you'll see that updates in real time, right? Right there, right? So, can you put people into more than one group? Great question. So, we have groups and then we have tags, right? So, we want to make sure that everyone maybe there's a, a first time home buyer group, but then you want to just um, tag Southern Highlands or well, the Ridges. Means, like, you might have you know people looking at Providence and he's a first time home buyer, so you might want to include him into. Oh, that's Perfect. So what, so what you're going to do there is use our tag feature. So groups is kind of like the master bucket and then you have tags which you can put in anything like, you know, needs to be five acres or not five acres, whatever, half acre, etc. I would love to have a house on five acres, but probably not in Las Vegas. Um, so I'm going to click on an example lead, Troy North here. And I want to show you guys exactly what you have uh, to look at here. So this is the client's profile within your CRM, right? So outside of just being a spreadsheet, now you have details, correspondence, uh, chronological order of notes, tag notes or important notes that kind of flow to the top. Everything that you would need to know about this client is here, right? You can always refer back to it. You can look back at it. You can take notes uh, in real time as well. Um, another really, really cool feature um, that's built into the CRM. Anyone that's within the signature organization, so all of the agents within your company, if you're sharing deals or working on deals with one another, you can just start typing in their name and that agent's gonna pop up and you can actually tag them in a note. So maybe you have a question, maybe you're working on a deal with someone, maybe you're sharing a client, whatever the case may be. You can literally just start typing in one of your associates' names. We have, I think, 700 agents within the signature organization loaded up into the profile. So. Really, really cool internal communication tool. This is usually for teams or brokerages, but again, even individual agents, maybe you want to ask you know, Brandon a question and tag him in there. Don't tell him I told you to do that. Sorry, Brandon. But um, yeah, you can tag your, your, your associates within the brokerage. Super cool. Um, I could also, again, if you do set up our texting feature, I think it's a dollar a month with Twilio. It's very, very inexpensive. Uh, you can send text messages to your clients right two-way so you can actually start communicating with your clients via via chat on your own website you can, can also send files in addition to that? yeah so actually with our sms we just added i'm sorry if you guys can't see there but we have templates you can drag and drop files pictures it's really really cool magic. it's magic it is magic um you can send emails right so emails text message i i can call so if you're on your phone you can just hit call troy and you can start talking to talking to your client on the phone Everything that you would need you know, to have from a communication standpoint is pretty much here um, and very accessible and easy to use. 
Um, if I click on details, you can see different details of this client. I can put them in different statuses. I can put them in different groups. So let's put Troy North in his signature agents as well. Uh, I'll save the changes here. You can also see for task and reminders, right? Call Robin. I threw Robin in there, right? So you can actually, so nothing falls through the cracks. Everything that you need to know, follow up the client in a week, et cetera. Everything's here. It, we, we will alert you every morning with your tasks of the day. Uh, and it's also located directly in this client profile this as well. This is all free. This is all free. The CRM is included with, with all of your accounts. How do you alert me? Do I have to log into Simplist or do I get a text? You get an email alert every morning with oh. all of your tasks for the day, kind of oh, as like, here's what you got to do today. You can import your current CRM. Yes, you can import leads. We can also connect to other CRMs. So if some of you are using another service and you're just in love with it or you just, it's too tough to change, um, there's a chance that we can actually integrate them both together. I think on my last, there's a prospect CRM, just very general that anybody that wrote email to. So that one, you, do you guys link to that? Do you know? We so there? we have a, we have an open API. So as long as they share share that share that uh, that data, we can connect it to your account. Uh, there may be like an additional integration fee for us, but it's not gonna it's not gonna be too difficult to do that. We can also uh, upload contacts for you. If you do have a CSV file of leads, we can import that for you as well. Uh, let's click on views. This is my favorite part, right? So if your client is logged in, if your client is logged in, you as the agent can track and manage their behavior, what they're doing, what they're clicking on, how many times, what they favorited, all that good stuff, right? So if I click on views, I can see which, which properties this client has viewed, how many times they viewed it. I can even see what they favorited as well. Right, so a lot of really cool um, features that are built in on, uh, on the CRM side. Any questions there? Cool. Any questions at home? Did, at no one. How many, people, how many people do we have? Uh, we have five. Five people. I'm going to get a list of the five. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do a house check to make sure you guys are okay because we are way too quiet at home. I have one more question. Then. So we can have the bit where it looks like a spreadsheet. Can we add? fields in there or if we want to track something? Great question. So tags is going to be your ability to, to, to really track anything. Okay. So you can, just create you know, a tag. Okay. loves dogs, gotcha. you know, just hit enter and okay. now you have loves dogs as a tag. So you can say, you know, I want to send an email to all of my signature agents, but only the ones that love dogs. That was a crazy example. I don't know why I went there. I've, I, We're very I, dog I love that's dogs. So that's good. why I threw it out there. But, <laughs> um, right. So tags, you know, being organized is, is key here because a lot of agents, what they do is they think it's, it's cool to just email blast. Well, if you email blast something to 10,000 people that only 500 of them are going to care about, it's going to hurt your conversion rate. It's going to hurt your open rate. Uh, they'll mark you as spam. So you want to make sure that you're sending relevant content to the right people. So being, you know, having an organized database and CRM is key, is very, very important. So maybe it takes you, like maybe you have a couple hundred leads already. And it takes you a couple hours to go in the back end and really clean it up. But once you clean it up and do the work, you're, you're going to thank yourself later for sure. Um, so that is our CRM. Again, um, I'm not sure if, you, if you've seen other CRMs. We're very easy, simple to use. You know, some CRMs are so robust and so complicated that you just can't use them. Right? You log in, it's like the cockpit of an airplane, and it's, you're just like, no, nah, I can't, I can't. Then, then you just end up using it as a smart Excel sheet, right? And th that really just does you no good. So I hope that you guys do see the value in, you know, organizing, taking the time to build out your groups, putting them into groups, um, updating the status properly, et cetera, to make sure that it looks great. Um, I want to jump into some of our email campaign stuff because I want, because it is somewhat relevant to how you organize your CRM. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to go straight to our blogs, sorry, um, our message center. I'll show you guys what an email looks like. So I can do a lot of things from this quick menu bar, but f let's, let's focus on creating an email. What's up, Brandon? Okay. All right, so we have pre-made templates for you. Again, we're, we want to make your lives easier and not more difficult. So we have several different options to choose from. And you just click the, down, the drop down here. So um, single listings, MLS listings, blogs, et cetera. So if I w let's just say that I have a saved MLS listing, which I do in my agent account. All of you as agents have the ability to save listings in your own account and you can populate those listings on your page, right? So if you have your own listings, of course you can make that show, but if you wanna put up you know, a few multi-million dollar listings on your front page, you can save it as a favorite and then populate it to your page. Or you can send an email, right? So I can do MLS listing, I can select from any of the ones that I've already saved in my account, 
and it's going to automatically put together. Um, come on, it's a little slow today. There we go. It's going to put together that beautiful email template that, that I've already shown you, right? I love this house. Oops, should have clicked on that. Uh, plug and play, ready to go, right? So that's how you click. Sorry, that's how you set up. Uh, one of our MLS save listings, but let's go down to another example. Let's do a custom property site. I like this one. All right, cool. So let's just say that you wanted to send out this listing to signature agents, right? We just made a group and I just added a couple agents or a couple people to that group. I'm gonna go up here and click on message. I can put in my custom message subject line. So brand new listing in Southern Highlands, you know, check out this brand new estate, click, click below for more details, whatever you want to type here. Audience, this is where that CRM uh, thing comes into play here, right? So I can send it to a single recipient, which is probably not why you're going to be in this message center. You're here because you want to send more of a group email. So I'm going to go to multiple and I can select from all leads and say only people in my signature agents group, right? So I click signature agents group. And you'll see on the bottom left hand side, it's going to start populating all of those people within the group. So you can take a quick peek to see who's included and make sure it's correct. And now you can send uh, this beautiful email just to those specific clients. Again, this is going to be key uh, when you are sending emails. Question in the back. Can you import a farm list and then do it? You can import a farm list. If you do import a farm list, we, um, it's mandatory that you use our MailChimp or Mandrill integration. That's for your protection and ours just for spamming purposes, but we can integrate that for you. I think it's an extra 25 bucks a month. You can send 25,000 emails, 25,000 emails. Not that you would need that, but you have, that's, that's our lowest package with our partnership with Mandrill, which again is going to allow you to, to send mass emails without having to worry about um, spam issues. So that is, uh, that is pretty neat. Um, but again, if you wanted to do more, you know, if you're sending it to 10, 20 people, you can use Simple List itself. And again, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, set up those segmented groups, send it to the specific people. Now everyone's happy because they're receiving content that they wanna see and you're not getting blocked or spammed or, or anything like that. If we do the MailChimp or Mandrill, like you said, will it still look like this email or will it look like whatever their format is? It's always gonna look like ours. Okay. We use MailChimp and Mandrill simply as a relay. It's kind of confusing to, um, to articulate, but no, it's I really... It. That's fine. I just, that was my question. Yeah, we just use them as a relay. We use our system to actually send everything still. Okay. We're just making sure that we you know, bypass some of the spam stuff and, cool. and, and make sure that your email actually gets to the inbox, which is of high importance as well. Um, so that's kind of how that works and definitely works in correlation with creating those very organized groups and making sure, and tags, etc. You could also, um, you know, send uh, different statuses. So you can say, you know, signature agents that have you know, a status of sold or hot or past client, right? So you can actually really dial down this, this email. Schedule and send, you can send it now or you can schedule it for a later date. So maybe you wanna take an afternoon and schedule out emails for the next month, right? You just wanna schedule them all out today and you'd be done with it for the month. This is what you can do with our scheduler. So schedule for a future date, select the date and time, Click, click, and you're, you're off to the races. Any questions on the email? Any questions at home, please? <laughs> Everyone's sleeping at home. Wake up. We're good? All right. My, jo or my, my goal is to just really showcase to, you know, showcase to you all and to whoever watches this at a later date what it is you have access to. You have access to some really, really cool stuff here. Um, it's not just to be cute or look pretty. It's it's these will drive results if you actually use them. So I want to make sure that you know from the collections, from the MLS, from the emails that you're sending, that you guys start to you know maybe you don't implement everything at once, um, but maybe you start implementing you know phase by you know bite by bite. You take a multiple bites of the apple. You're not going to take the whole bite at once. So start sprinkling in some of these things, um, even collections. You know everyone in the room, if if we can. I'll put our hands in and make a pact to say, you know, we're going to do a neighborhood of the week collection this week, put it on Facebook. I think you're going to, you're going to see results, whether that's new leads, whether that's Facebook likes or comments or shares. Um, the more you post, the more engagement that happens, the more leads that follow through and the more sales you guys get.
Do you inter- I know you said you integrate with Facebook. Do you also integrate with YouTube? Yes, we do. Or Instagram? Yes, we do. Okay, and then uh, do you have a moment to show us whatever your favorite bell or whistle is that's on your top end upgrade just so we know what we're missing if we don't have that? Yeah, I think you, you probably, I mean, if you have the upgrade, you probably have access to... I have one of them. I don't think I had your... Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can show you guys. Um, there's one more thing that I want to show you. Uh, two more things. Sorry, I don't know how much time we have today, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock <laughs> on. Um, landing pages and blogs. Again, we're we're in the business of helping you guys generate leads, but you're not going to generate any leads if you're not making any noise, right? So if you're not posting, if you're not sharing, if you're not sending emails, you know who's going to find you? Like we have a lot of agents that say, you know, man, this is just not working for me, and I log into their account. They've they've never logged in once, or maybe they logged in one time. They have no blog content, they have no collections built, they never send an email. No wonder it's not working, right? So if you use it, you will see results. If you don't, no surprise, right? So um, I'm going to click into landing pages, and the whole uh, purpose of a landing page, uh, it's really just a condensed website. Your website in general, your agent website, for example, it has a lot of stuff. It has your bio, it has MLS search, it has communities, it has testimonials, it has a lot of, has a lot of information. Uh, the whole uh, point of a landing page is to have a condensed version uh, of that presentation with the objective of capturing a lead, so capturing their information. So, um, man, I'm going to have to reset this speed. Okay. Uh, so let's find the perfect home. These are just examples that I've added. You'll see a couple duplicates because I've been testing around a little bit in this account. But these are ready to go, pre-made landing pages. So a lot of agents are, you know, they'll try to build their own landing pages in like a separate um, website. You know, it's difficult. It's not connected to your agent website. Part of the reason why we have all these feature sets included, um, it's because a lot of agents kind of have things that are on their own island, like a custom property website. Agents will have them built and say, oh, well, my, um, my photographer does it for me. That's cool, but it's on its own. It's separate. It's not connected to your agent website, um, like literally connected. So if it's connected, it's going to help with your SEO. It's going to be visible on your agent website. You can click from it. There's a lot of good reasons why you should be you know, having a more inclusive uh, experience. Uh, but this is a just a quick example of a landing page, so sell your home. Um, everything's done for you here. Uh, and again, you can share this on Facebook, you can put ad spend behind it, it's up to you. Uh, the whole purpose here again is to attract leads. So this is more for a seller, right? How to sell your home. So you can copy paste this on Facebook. Hey, anyone looking to sell your home, you know, copy paste the link, they can click on it, go through this experience. Everything that you see here is ready to go. However, if you wanted to click on the text and edit it, you can make it all your own. So you can customize this pre-made landing page to really fit you. Right? Everyone's different. Everyone has not been in the business for 30 years. So you can go in there, click edit, change 30 to 10, and, and, and post it. So that's an example of, again, our custom uh, landing pages. I believe premium is part of the upgrade. Uh, so, so you would probably have access to at least uh, a couple of these. Um, we can take a, another look at this example. View landing page. Right, this is more for a buyer. Let's find the perfect home. This is already automatically connected to your MLS integration. Once they make, uh, once they make their uh, their search here, man, this is come on picture. Once they make the search, it's automatically going to go to your MLS experience and, and drive traffic, drive leads, put the leads in your CRM. Everything's done. So again, landing page. The easiest way to think of it, it's just a condensed website with a specific call to action, and we want to drive leads. So. Uh, that's our landing pages. Lastly, I want to talk about our blog functionality. Blogs is the easiest and most inexpensive way to drive traffic to your website. Uh, maybe it takes a few minutes, but um, again, not only does it look good when it's integrated and built into your agent website, when, and you can see all these blogs of different things, but it's, it's going to help drive traffic and really help with SEO as well. So building a blog is pretty easy. I want to show you guys, again, uh, how that happens in the back end. So if I click Quick Menu, manage pages and blogs. You'll see a lot of sample blog content back here from my demo site. Oh, Robin. Let's do this. Where's my right click? All right, so here are our blogs right here. I'm going to click Add New. We're going to call this one Signature Las Vegas, 
And again, SEO title, SEO description, this is gonna help drive more traffic for you guys as well and make sure that you're found when you are being, you know, when uh, clients are looking up uh, keywords and search terms online. Uh, you can also plug in, um, you know, videos, text, et cetera. This is the basic settings page. I'm gonna go right into our actual blog to show you what it looks like to live edit that. So in live edit mode, kind of like I showed you on the agent website, when you just click on the text, edit the text, click on, you know, drag and drop your images. Very similar with our blog uh, as well. So if I click on, Signature Las Vegas right here is my new blog. And I go into live edit mode. Right, it's gonna ask me to start uploading some rich media content. Again, whether it's pictures, videos, Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook, all these things you can incorporate into a blog. You can even incorporate collections. So let's just say that you wanna talk about Southern Highlands and then plug in your Southern Highlands collection in the blog. Super easy to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys uh, what it looks like really quick. I'm gonna go into, uh, let's see. Um, Sorry, what do you want? Oh, I just said I like that pool that was on the Oh, house. nice. So maybe I can just grab a quick picture here. This is cool. I like that. Should we put a picture of Brandon up there? Oh, yes, Monana. We love her. Love her. All right, we're going to throw this up there. This looks great, too. I'm actually going to create a blog. I'm going to create this for her and then have her post it. So I'm going to go into her picture here. Why can't I right click on this thing? Is there Is no right? There's no right click. Can I drag and drop? There we go. All right, so I just dragged and dropped this photo to my desktop. I'm going to click edit layout. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to click edit image. And I'm going to drag and drop that image of Vandana right here. Go to save it. And a couple seconds later, we got our picture, right? So this is the header of the blog. Now I wanna go ahead and put in uh, a video of a high-end home in Southern Highlands. So I'm gonna to go to YouTube. I'm just gonna do Southern Highlands Las Vegas YouTube. That's fine. Grab this, grab this, photo, uh, this video, I'm gonna just copy just the YouTube link. Just the link, right? Or so, just the ID. Yeah, so, the yep, so just the, just the ID at the end that I highlighted. V equals, this is your YouTube link, sorry, your, uh, your YouTube code. I'm gonna go back to my post right here. I'm gonna add another section, and another section I'm gonna add is gonna be a video section. So I'm gonna just go down to my edit layout. I'm gonna select video content now from my, from my media. Select a YouTube video. I'm gonna edit my video, paste that YouTube ID that I just copied, paste it in, and two seconds later, we got our Southern Highlands video populated, right? So now we got our picture, our video, and lastly, I'm going to add one more section, and I'm actually going to add our Southern Highlands collection that, that you saved in the back end. So edit layout, properties, collection. It's going to plug in collections. It's going to, it's going to then ask us, uh, oops, settings, which collection that we want to do. Let's select Southern Highlands from the top. Save the changes. A couple seconds later, we should have a beautiful blog that is ready to go. So, you know, maybe it took me a couple minutes to do it. Again, I did grab some existing content offline, but this is still loading. Let's do this. New page. So this is what it would actually look like online, right? Picture, video, it's on autoplay as well. And then that Southern Highlands collection built in. Super clean, very easy to make. And this is all within like the blog post? Yes, this is all within blog posts. And again, it's, uh, it couldn't be easier to create and I couldn't uh, stress the importance enough of including some of this content on your site. Whether it's collections or blogs, custom single property websites, if you're not talking about something then no one's listening, you're not gonna generate leads and people are not gonna find you online. So sure. I, would, I would go extra with this type of stuff. Um, and again, whether it's real estate related, or maybe you want to say, hey, you know, these are my top five favorite restaurants in downtown Summerlin, as an example. It doesn't have to be real estate related. I actually suggest not always doing real estate stuff because it becomes a little stagnant for, for us as clients. You know, we don't want to see it just, you know, let's talk about our favorite hikes, let's talk about restaurants, let's talk about the strip, not just real estate related trends. So 
Um, hopefully, you guys can see the importance and how and you know how easy it is to kind of put this stuff it's together. Okay, just to take things off of YouTube. I mean, there's no rights for stepping on on people's. No, because YouTube videos are the are the rights and owners of that person. So, for example, if I just click on this YouTube video, it's going to go to this gentleman's account and his name. I would suggest using your own content always, of course. But you know, some that don't have content yet ready, you can you can surely borrow. What's up, buddy? Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> Talking to you. Man. How's it going? Good. How are you? So I was looking at logins today, this morning, because I wanted to kind of see um, you know, who's logging the most. I think we got a record back here, over 4,000 logins. If you get, and so he's using it, right? So. Top user. What? He's a top user. Top user, yeah. We got a special prize for you, by the way. I'm going to say it offline so I don't okay. make anyone upset. But um, That's him just always clicking on it at nighttime. Yeah, just, he's just logging in just for now. over his house, he's like, <laughs> Another login. I, actually, you know what? I, I went to a listing appointment today, um, and they told me, um, you know, it, it was a referral, but still, they said they, um, you know, they looked at my reviews. I'm like, I don't know what kind of reviews, because I, I, I'm not using Zillow, um, but I put a bunch of uh, reviews on my website, so I'm assuming oh, that's what they watch, and they're like, yeah, we, we were impressed. There was a lot of five-star reviews. I'm like, cool. There you go. Fantastic. That's, See that—that that just shows you, like so, you know, so that helps, yeah. whether you think it may have a direct result now or not. The more content you have, it's gonna. Tr there's a trickle down effect. The blog post you post today, maybe you get no hits for a week, but in like six months from now, someone sees it and they create a lead, and then that person just bought a house from you. Um, so you know, more is better in this in this situation. Usually, I say less is more, but in this situation, more is better. <laughs> Any other questions? I know I kind of threw a lot at you guys today, uh, but again, I really wanted you to understand what it is you have access to, uh, why you should use it, and if you had any questions about it or if you're fuzzy on a specific section, this is why we're here to help. Um, we can do workshops more often. I'm doing two more this week, one on Thursday and one on Friday at the other offices, uh, but we are a local. Simple List is a local company. We're here for you guys. We can do workshops like this. I hope now that you know COVID is hopefully towards the end, um, you know, we can start doing more in-person things and, and, and these types of workshops because we love them. Yeah, I need like a workshop where I'm doing it and yeah. you're there, hey. <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, something that we just launched called Masterclass. Robin, okay. yours truly over here, um, uh, leads most of those classes. So if you do need more of a one-on-one -on -one type of environment, they're, they're very effective. You know, after a one hour session, you, she helps build your site for you together with you so you can actually walk through the examples how together. Do we, how do we get in touch? Um, you can email me at robin at simplest.com and then I can send you a masterclass link so we can schedule a Zoom class together. Okay. I'm gonna, part of the email that I'm gonna put together for, for Brandon as a whole, it's gonna have, you know, what's included in your existing, what you have access to in the upgrades, how to upgrade, links to click there, and then of course how to book a nice masterclass with Robin. I do highly suggest it. It's it's a power session, and right after that meeting, your you know your site transforms into a whole new whole new beast. So, awesome. Any other questions before? Oh, one more. Yeah. How much is the are the upgrades? Um, so we have we have special rates for signature always, um, but again, I'm gonna we're gonna put together something extra special at the end of the call. I'm going to put a, a full email uh, with links and, and examples and everything that you would need. Do you have a feature for Agents with Teams? We do. Did someone tell you that? <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine. Yeah. Well, you heard what you heard is true. So we do have some upgraded options for Teams as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's Vanna um, oh, her so website so address. Do you know it? I don't, but I can. I'm going to show you a, 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 an example of a site that has a team uh, format built up. I think I can maybe find it. Just do her full name dot simplest dot com. Dot simplest. So this should be an example of what a team site looks like, I hope. 
We're gonna check some internet speed after this after this call as well. Still not one, not one post from home. Oh. Wow. Still five people. Yep. They're not watching. You guys aren't watching at home. All right. So this is Vanana's site. Uh, of course, it's loading up still, but um, as you can see, there is a team element on the page. All right. So once the page loads, of course, there's Vanana at the top. And then she has her team kind of below. So this is an existing feature set that is available for teams. If you are a part of a team or a team lead, just let us know and we can uh, walk you through setting up that stuff as well. <coughs> All good? good? Well, thank you so much for your time. And it's great to be back in the flesh. It's, uh, it, it's exciting. So thank you, guys. Thank you for everyone at home. If you were listening, appreciate you. <laughs> <If> you were listening. <laughs>